The Aussie dollar has surged to a four-month high on speculation. The Chinese government will provide more stimulus to its struggling economy. Joining me now is business reporter Edward Boyd. Ed, the Aussie dollar is gaining value against a range of currencies, in, including the Japanese yen. Aussie dollar has been performing really well over the past couple of weeks, Kenny. Uh, really, it's a lot of it's to do with China providing a lot more stimulus to its economy. We know we talked about China's economy yesterday and how it's really been struggling for the past few months. Inflation there is only up 0.2%. Economic growth is still reasonably strong from, uh, from our point of view. Like their economic growth is almost at 5% levels. But from China's perspective, that's actually really low. So they're trying to stimulate the manufacturing sector. Aussie economy starting to benefit and the Aussie dollar. So it's pushing up the value of the Aussie dollar against a range of currencies. We could just show you a couple of these charts here. So this is the dollar against the Japanese yen. One dollar is now buying about 96 Japanese yen, which, which is actually a, almost parity with the Japanese yen. We haven't seen that for quite a few years. So really good time to travel to Japan at the moment. If you go to the next page, you can see the Aussie dollar against the greenback, against the US dollar. You can see it's at about 68.8 US cents. So gaining value there, it was at about 71 cents around December last year. So it has come off a little bit from then, but it's now getting back to that sort of 70 cent US level. And look, the market has just opened this morning. You can see here, pretty nice little rise in early trade. What we've been going for about 20 minutes so far, market up half a percent in early trade. I think energy stocks are the ones to watch today. They look to be doing pretty well thanks to rising commodity prices. And we have covered how iron ore is almost at an eight week high right now. And the oil price as well has surged overnight by about two and a half percent. So that's helping too. Yeah, well, energy giant AGL says higher power prices will help it report a much larger profit than previously expected. Yeah, look, there's a front page story in the paper today talking about how wholesale power prices are just going up massively over the next 12 months. And lo and behold, this morning, AGL, uh, they're hosting an investor day at the moment. They've put out a market update, basically saying these higher power prices are going to result in a much bigger profit for AGL. Now, this is a company that's obviously struggled over the past few years. They've been slowly closing old power stations. We saw the Liddell power station shut about a month ago in New South Wales in the Hunter Valley region. But they're getting bet they're getting higher prices for their power, so it's obviously not good for consumers who are paying more money. But it is good for AGL's investors, including Mike Cannabrooks, who is the major shareholder of AGL, and he's really trying to transition the company away from the coal-fired power towards the green energy. But right now, uh, coal-fired power is where they make their money, and they're expecting a much bigger profit, about $280 million profit next year, as opposed to it was about 270 odd million. So it's up by about 15 million more, but it's a significant profit for AGL, which has had a pretty tough time. So expect AGL shares to do pretty well on the stock market this morning. Good on you, Ed. Thank you.